Kaik versus Hans Macaw. How do you compare the two? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Paraplus Bond. And in this video, we've got Ketsi, my white belly Kaik, and Emerald, my Hans Macaw. Let's look at some of the basics. So, um, <laughs> Ketsi is not 100% typical Kaik, um, but he's bold, daring, uh, afraid of nothing. He doesn't fight my macaws, but I sit there going, please don't confront them. Please back up. Please don't be your usual fearless self. Um, Kaiks are vivacious. Kaiks are how did oh, rambunctious? That's how I described them before. They're just all over the place. Come on, come on, Katzi. Mm. But um, they ah, fun-loving, very energetic. Now this is interesting because you're talking about two parrots that are about the same size. One that's currently <laughs> being tormented, the other that's having fun. Um, one, some, some basic things about Kaik versus uh, Hans McCall. They both fly out of the picture. That's one similarity. Hans McCall is going to be able to talk in more of a, well, English, right? Emerald, kiss, kiss, kiss. Hi, kiss, kiss, kiss. Good kisses. Uh, when Emerald gets a treat, she says thank you in her little Emerald voice. So you're gonna have more talking ability here. Whereas a Kaik, what they lack in talking ability, which is a lot. They're, they're really, um, they're not your typical parrot talker. But they're gonna make up for it in spunk, vivaciousness, personality. They are going to light up your home, whether that's good or bad. <laughs> Right? Emerald is going to be, hello, hello, Kathy. Emerald is going to be a additional nut fat eater, which means that she's supposed to have one teaspoon or was it a tablespoon? Eh, you know, they're so little, I think that I'm not gonna like wake up in the middle of the night and go, I couldn't remember which one it was. Because it, the point is it's a very small amount of macaw mix for such a small macaw. It's kind of phenomenally interesting that Emerald is a macaw, a Hans macaw is a macaw. I believe she's the smallest macaw. If not, let me know. But she's called a mini macaw. Most macaws are monstrously bigger. And Ketsi here, my white-bellied Kaik, mm, I think he weighs more. I don't remember what Emerald weighs. I think he weighs more, don't ya? Yeah, because these guys are hardy. As a matter of fact, one thing I always say about Emerald is, you know, in the morning we let her out of her cage, and um, other than flying onto me like Velcro, because she is a Velcro bird, I don't think that you could say that's typical of Hans Macaws. I think that's her particular case. Uh, she was given to us like as a rescue because the owner had personal things. His wife was sick and, you know, but anyway, so, so she kind of came with a few little issues because you can imagine his wife was sick and so they weren't able to meet her needs anymore. So I think she had some time where, you know, um, the wife was sick, not feeling well, Emerald was being loud. You can imagine how that goes. Because um, Emerald's not like super duper loud. If we were going to really just super simplify and put parrots into three categories, quiet, medium, and loud. Um, you know, I think I would put Emerald in the medium, certainly not in the quiet. Him, the, the Kaiks, um, I think it kind of depends on how, how involved, how active you are with them, that kind of thing. But, oh good, he's making a little noise so you can kind of see. I, I feel like he's gonna be like medium high. In my home, he's in the high group. He is one of my top three. The um, kites are one of my top three loudest parrots. Hi, sweetie. Oh, mwah. 
Now, he is awesome. Like I said, if you have a kite, they're going to light up your home. They're just, oh, what? <laughs> they're just, they're just so much fun. Fun, fun loving. Yeah, I know. It's getting, you're, you're, yeah. He's like, you know, the sun's setting. I want to go back to my house. We'll go back in a minute. So, you, there you have some different in diet, right? They both get fresh vegetables. They both need beta carotene with their fresh vegetables. That's probably like the only thing that really, really, really matters. Other than don't give them junk food, don't give them sugar, don't give them apple seeds, don't give them fruit because um, these guys, you know, in nature, they are going to eat unripe fruit. And now I have no bird. I really like to have birds in my videos. Come here. Because when I watch videos, all I want to see is the bird, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, in nature, bigger birds get the ripe fruit or the monkeys. These little guys, relatively speaking, they don't get to have the ripe fruit. Plus in nature, I heard that they're flying like 25 miles a day. In other words, even if they're eating some fruit with more fructose, which is fruit sugar, they're gonna be burning it off. And at home, your bird, I'm gonna just take a wild guess and I'm gonna say, like my birds, your bird is not flying 25 miles every day. Even when my macaws are out back here and they can fly back and forth, I probably have 30 feet. I don't know how much, probably 40 feet. I might have to measure at some point, huh? Um, my, my macaws still don't get anywhere near that much flying. 25 miles, like not even close. So. Um, so no fruit. Now, fresh vegetables, pellets, because pellets have everything they need. If you don't want to put your vet into a really beautiful retirement situation or put your vet's children through um, school and graduate school, then feed your parrot pellets so that you're not going to the vet other than for your usual checkups you know, so that your parrot doesn't get sick. Because once a parrot's sick, man, they like, sometimes they, as fast as they fall flying, if something happens and they fall flying, that's how fast they can fall when they're sick. So really make sure that you're um, doing that. So as far as those things go, both of these guys are gonna be the same. But this guy, he can have treats, the um, kaik, but the hands macaw gets those, that extra fat, those, um, that macaw mix. We've covered personality. Let's talk a little about personality. We talked about noise. We talked about talking. We talked about diet. Um, yeah, we talked about personality. Huh, sweetie? Now, the question. If I had to make a very difficult choice, I'm looking and I'm watching my lovebird in the house. What's he doing? Um, and I did not have a parrot. I was adding a parrot or, you know, that kind of situation. I'm adding a parrot. And I'm debating between a kaik and a hands macaw. Who would I pick? Um, you know, the lifestyle difference, which I think is very significant, is what would determine it for me. Yes. This guy, I would have to, I feel, I feel, for me, if I was going to choose a white belly kaik, I would want to have more time to dedicate to them. Um, because they are high, high energy. Oh, they're also messier. Yeah, that's a part of what I was telling you. In the morning, we let Emerald out, and you kind of don't notice her during the day in the sense that when the macaws have been somewhere, there's these big poops. You, you can't tell that Emerald's been somewhere. Whereas Pepsi, the Kais, they are more messy. So my opinion is, if I was doing a kaik or kaiks, because I think you should always get two. Um, because look at this, they still engage with you. I have four, they still engage with you. Um, I, I would, this lifestyle for me would mean I, I would want to be able to dedicate more time and attention, not only to the bird, but to cleaning their cage. Whereas the hands macaw would be lighter. I think my expectation would be if I get a hands, I'm not gonna have to clean so much poop, and I, I still wanna give time and attention, but I feel like it's gonna be less lighter on me than this more engaging parrot. This guy, they're just, they're 
full, full, full of life, aren't you? I think these are the kings and queens of lifeness. If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to post below. Thank you. See that noise level? Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing so that you catch the next feathered video and so that you help me reach a thousand subscribers because that's a milestone where I can start to post pictures. Until next time, we'll squawk at you later.